In this video, we're going to look at how to apply a pattern to a garment, and then how do we rotate and scale that pattern to be as we desire. So, here is a basic t-shirt, and I'm just going to click on the central piece, and we're going to modify this. As it turns out, this t-shirt is very similar to the one I'm wearing now. So, I'm just going to drop down here, and I'm going to choose patterns. Let's go for uh, nature and animal skin. And we've got a whole load of things we've brought up here. So let's go for windows, swatches. And we can just take these and we can just drop these into our swatch panel. And I'm just gonna pick a few because, you know, it gives us choices. So then we have got our swatches now loaded with some patterns. Here we are again on the drop down. Going to select, let's go for leopards. That's not leopard skin, that's um, zebra skin. Now, in this case, I'm going to say that I want the stripes going to slant and I want them to be a bit smaller. So let's just click on our centerpiece here. And on the left, we've got two tools one is the, is the scale tool and one is the rotate tool. Double click on the scale tool, you bring this window up. Now, I want to only transform the pattern, not the object. So it is very important that you make sure that that box is not ticked. We only want to tick in the patterns box just here. Now, I'm going to go for smaller, so let's say 50%, type 50 in the um, uniform scale. Uniform being everything shrinks equally. Uh, non uniform is no, different either way, but uniform is the normal way. And click preview, and I can go, ooh, that's, um, that's what I want. But you can change this number from 50 to be whatever you want for your design. And then click OK. So that's the scale dealt with. To rotate, we hover over the rotate tool, double click with the left mouse button, and we have this window open. So I'm going to say, I don't know, 30 degrees. Refresh the preview, and that's good, but they're going that way. I want them to go that way. So let's check minus 30. Um, same thing again. Let's go for, um, so my maths comes in very bad. 90 degrees plus 30 would be 120 degrees. And there we are. So it's now I'm going at an angle I like and click OK. So we've now chained, we've now put a pattern in, we've scaled it and rotated it. And that's how to do it in Illustrator.